<laughs> Hi guys. So um, I'm reading a book. Well, I'm reading quite a few books, but this morning I was reading Brennan Bouchard, um, the something manifesto. I think no, I don't know. Anyway, I forgot the title book. So anyway, he had a great point, and I forgot that I did this activity um, a long time ago, and I plan to do it again. I wrote it down in my handy dandy planner because that's who I am. So I think when we we don't give ourselves enough credit and we keep moving forward and we don't actually stop to celebrate our wins. So there in the book he recommend doing 10 years. Um, I did it before and did three years and that's pretty significant. So you write down when you have alone time and like silence and you can really just like focus on this activity. You sit down and you write down everything that you learned, accomplished, um, any struggle you've overcome in the past three years, and you just write it down because we don't give ourselves enough credit. Like he, he used the example of when we're kids um, and we learned how to ride our bikes without training wheels. We never celebrated it. Our parents probably were like, yay, but they didn't really happen. We didn't stop to like realize that we're like smart enough and strong enough to balance the bike and balance our bodies and then by the time that we're able to like take the training wheels off we're already on the next the next step to like go from roller skates to roller blades without even skipping a beat or even giving ourselves something proud to be you know i mean proud of so like little wins any little wins any big wins how many books did you read what did you teach yourself what did you learn like anything like that just write it down. I remember I did it, and I was like, "Damn, I'm kind of badass." Like when, when, you're, and I don't say that cocky, cockily. That's not a word. Um, confidently. Mm, I don't know. So, I'm saying that as someone who, who always looked at what I did wrong, as someone who has always looked at like what I can't do, always paid attention to the things that I was ashamed of, embarrassed of, not happy about, regretted, um, all my limitations, I really focused on all my limitations for a very long time. And when I did this activity and wrote down like, I taught myself how to crochet, I taught myself how to draw, I moved out 17, I, I didn't go back home, I wasn't homeless, I was a drug addict and I got sober and I got addicted to drugs again and I've been sober for six years. I I don't drink, I don't party anymore, I don't hang out with negative, you know what I mean? Like, it's easier to, like, like, graduate, like, all those little things you can focus on instead of focusing on the negativity, and it's kind of like that thing that I talked about when I do the gratitude journal, and if I'm struggling with a certain family member, I try to find three things that I'm grateful for every day with them, um, and that really helps me focus on the good, the same thing you have to do for yourself, so if you're struggling mentally, on feeling like life's limitations are holding you down sit down quietly for 10 15 minutes maybe an hour who knows what's gonna happen once you get going and write down all the list of things that you feel that in the past three years that you've overcome all the things that you've learned all the things that you've accomplished all the things that you're proud of yourself all those things that you push aside immediately and give yourself credit for them now uh, I, I did this a year ago and I probably will do it again quite soon. Um, I feel that with the weather changing and stuff, I feel like I get in these like droughts of like moods and I don't want that to hold me back because I have accomplished it. I have accomplished more than most people would have expected of me. And um, I think it's time to focus on the good that you have overcome, the good that you're doing, and the good that you're going to do, instead of focusing on the crap that happened in the past. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I was just listening to it as I was eating my lunch, and I thought, damn, other people really need to hear this, other people really need to experience what's going to happen as they write it all down. And I just, I hope that is helpful, and if you do it, you know what? You don't have to share your papers with me. Hopefully, they're multiple papers. You don't have to share them with me. But I'd like to know that you are doing it. I would like to know that it did bring value. I'd like to know if you felt a difference from before you did it to after you did it. So, very helpful. Hi, babe. <laughs> are you eating lunch? You're not eating lunch. You're talking to me. I love you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get back to work. The girls are at school, so... I'm happy to be alone in this big old house by myself. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.